In this video, I'm going to show you some strategies for extending your search once you've found some relevant content. There are several ways that you can branch out once you've identified one or more suitable articles for your assignment. First of all, you should read the reference list. Have a look at the titles in the reference list to see if they sound like they're relevant to your research. Also look at how the items have been referenced in the context of the article, because this will give you some clues about which articles are going to be useful for you in the context of your assignment. In addition to looking at the articles in the reference list, it's also really useful to keep an eye out for frequently cited authors as you're reading the literature. If one or two names keep coming up, then it's probably really likely that those people are experts in the field. You can also look at works that are cited frequently. So if there's a particular article that's cited in half the articles that you're looking at, then it's probably an article that you need to consider reading as well. You can then use these author names and articles from the reference list to search for content for your assignment. Let's take a look at an example for how you might do that. I've run a search that looks at the expectations of students in online courses, and I've identified one article called The Uses and Misuses of Collaborative Distance Education Technologies to read. I've already opened this article in the database, and here we can see the full text. One tip I have for you is to read the articles in the PDF version, which you can do just by clicking on the full text PDF tab here. The PDF version appears just as the pages would appear in the journal, and that means you've got page numbers on there, so that will help you when you're doing your referencing. In this instance, I'm going to flick back to the HTML view because it's easier to see on the screen for this recording. If I scroll down to the bottom of this article, I'll see the reference list. When I'm looking for content in the reference list of articles, what I do first of all is do a quick scan across the list to read the titles and identify any common authors. In this case, I've read through the list and I've picked out one article that I think I'd like to follow up on. The article I've identified is this one called Collaborative Online Distant Learning Issues for Future Practice and Research. Now there are two ways that I can search for this article. The first is to use Quick Find and search for the article title. The second is to use the library catalogue and search for the journal title. I'm going to step you through both of those processes now. So let's start out by searching for the article title. To do that, I'm going to copy the article title. In a new tab, I'm going to go to the library homepage. Once I'm on the library homepage, I'm going to use the Quick Find search. I want to do a phrase search for the title of the article. So I'm going to do that by putting in a quotation mark, pasting in the title, and then closing the quotation marks. And then I'm going to hit return to run the search. In this instance, the article that I'm after has actually come up at the top of the results screen. This won't always happen for you. Quick find is a little bit tricky when you're looking for known articles. If you enter in your search and the article doesn't come up, Consider abbreviating the search. For example, in this instance, I could simply limit to the first part of the title and take out what appears after the colon. So if you're using Quick Find to search for the article title and you can't find it with the complete search, abbreviate your search and just search for a portion of the article title. The other tip I have for you is that sometimes the phrasing in the titles might be very common phrasing. If that's the case, you might like to include a portion of the title plus the surname of one of the authors in your search. Now that I've run this search and I've found the article, I can cross check with the original article to make sure I've got the right one. Now in this case, I'm going to look at the volume number and the issue. So I've got volume 21, issue two. I'm going to flick back to my original article and check that that's actually the case. Now what I can see here is a slash instead of 21. Now that's probably just an issue with the way the content has been scanned in and recognized by the system. So it's fairly safe to assume it's a one, but just in case, I'm also going to check the page numbers, which are 260 to 277, and I'll check the year as well. I'll then just go back to my search results in Quick Find, and I can confirm that it is the same page range and it is the same year. 
I can then click on the title for that article and go directly to the article in the database where I can download the full text. So that's one option for following up a citation in a reference list. Let's take a look at an alternative way of finding articles through the library catalogue using the title of the journal. I'm going to go back to the original article I found and see if I can find another citation that I want to follow up. Now I've identified this article called Respecting the Human Needs of Students in the Development of E-Learning and I'd like to see if the library has that title. This time though I'm going to search by journal title rather than article title. When I'm doing a journal title search, I use the library catalogue instead of quick find. To start with, I'm going to copy the title of the journal. Then in a new tab, I'm going to go to the library homepage. Instead of using the quick find, I'm going to click here on search the classic catalogue. I'm going to change the drop down menu to title and I'm going to paste in the title of the journal. Now it's very important to note that you must paste in the title of the journal here, not the title of the article. Articles aren't indexed in the library catalogue, only the journal titles are. So I've got the journal title there in the search field and I'm going to click on search. Now there are six items here in the results. I'm going to take a guess that number three, Computers and Education Online, is the journal title, and I'm going to click on that. And in fact, it is the journal title. Now there are two links here to places that I may potentially be able to find this article. The first link is to an historical archive of the journal. You can see here that it includes the first link is to an historical archive of the journal. You can see here that the full text range for this particular database is 1976 to 1994. I need to double check the publication year of the article I'm looking for to make sure I use the right link. So this article was published in 2003 and that means that it's not going to be in the first database but it will be in the second, which includes all the articles from 1995 to the current date. So I'll click on that link to go to the database. Once I'm in the database, there's a number of ways that I can drill down to access the article I'm after. I could search for the title or the author name, or I could use down the left-hand side the browse functionality to browse to the article that I'm after. I'm going to go back to the original citation and double check the volume that it appears in. And here I can see it's in volume 40. So going back to this database for the journal title, I can see that if I click on volumes 31 to 40, I'll get a list of the issues within that volume. Now, in an ideal world, I'd know what issue number this journal was, but in this case, I don't. So I'm gonna go back to the record one more time and take a look at the page range. Now the page range is 57 to 70. This journal is one that continues the pagination across the different issues. So for example, in volume 40, issue one, the pagination starts at one, and it continues through the remaining issues in that volume. Now I know my article starts on page 57, so with a bit of detective work, by looking at the page numbers, I can tell that it is in volume 40, issue one, because that covers pages one to 98. So I'll click on that issue, and I then get a list of all the articles published in that particular issue of the journal. Now the article I was looking for is called Respecting the Human Needs of Students in the Development of E-Learning. So I can click on the title to get the full information about the title, including the abstract and the full text. Of course, I also have the option to download a PDF version. Using the reference lists of articles you've already found is a really great way to extend your searching. 
somebody has already done the work here, so you may as well exploit it. All you need to do is browse through the reference list and identify articles that may be of use to you, and then to use one of the two methods I've shown you in this video, either searching by article title or journal title, to find the article in the QUT Library collection.